Hi, I'm Norma. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. Thank you for stopping in and joining me for another video. Um, I had some time ago done a um, fall picture with fall colors just because it was really hot and I was really anticipating <laughs> the cooler weather. So, but And I really liked it. Um, but this time... I want to do it on a bigger scale, which I don't think I've done ever done one this big before. And um, I was trying to do different little tricks. So let me show you what I have in mind. I'm going to lower the camera down and then pull the stuff out so that you can see it on the canvas. I think that's a good idea. Stay right there. So apparently my camera shot is not going to get all of this can canvas in the picture. I've got most of it there. Let's see if I can move a little bit more. I had it. No, well, that that doesn't look too bad. I had it um, leveled, so I'm going to have to play with it for just a second and make sure that I still have it leveled and it's good so um, so this canvas is a 24 by 30 and I don't think I've ever done one that big before if I have I don't remember at least I don't remember being this nervous about it so um, this is what I want to do. I want to create something for my wall in my living room and for fall. So I got some paper. Frisket paper, low tack grid. So you can try and get it right, which is tough for me. And I wanted it to come out to have all the fall colors. And I'm doing parchment for the background or for the middle. And I, I thought that I was going to be um, pouring over top of this and peeling it off, but that's not how this works. So, because I can't pour all that paint on there. Um, so then I'm going to do the painting and then I'm going to go back to this on the finished painting, dry. And then I'm going to paint fall on picture I think so I had this idea instead of the A to put a pumpkin in there instead so this this has um, potential to change like a thousand different times before I get to this but this was just an idea that popped into me and I just kind of been piecing it together a little bit so We'll see if that works. It doesn't look very neat, but I think it will. Um, I think it will work out really well. I, I I'm not sure about the sticky because I don't really need it to be sticky because I'm, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to trace that on the finished painting and then use a brush to paint the word in which this is why I start slow and work my way up. Okay, so let's go over the colors real quick. Um, this color right here, this is the base color, and it is Parchment by Artist Loft. And I am going to use the Iridescent Orange Yellow by Pebeo. And metallic iridescent gold by Pebeo. Then, of course, 
the parchment in case I, I think I'm going to need some lighter spots. This is the Burnt Umber Liquitex Basics. This is Burnt Sienna Artist Loft. And this is Cadmium Orange Hue um, Liquitex Basics. That's really bright. And then I have the Copper by Artist Loft. I think I had all of those colors in my original painting except for the iridescent orange yellow. I don't know how I'm going to lay this down, but I suppose that I go ahead and put the parchment in the middle, spread it out towards the edges as much as I can, and then the colors are going to be put around the edges because I'm going to blow the colors in slightly and do some little finger swirls on the paint and then see if I like it that way and I sure hope so because to scrape this painting is really going to be bad <laughs> and I have um, a lovely Vefi small mat that I can scrape it onto so that I can save it all, which I do that. I'm not going to speed you up for this because I want everybody to see, <laughs> and, I, and I can't really tell you ahead of time, so I want everybody to see how much I put down. and then how I move it around. So I have more in my my jug. Actually, I think No. I think it's okay. I was going to say I think that this one for some reason looks like it might be lighter. Let me see. Well, No, it's okay. It's the same color. But now I have some. It's not mixed up well. All right. Time to get serious. I'd like to cut my videos up so I don't make them so long. But this one may not get cut up because... I can't really show you what I'm doing if I cut pieces out. So I'm getting my hair dryer. And this is Little Flow. I'm sure everybody knows about the Drew Barrymore flower uh, blow dryer. That's very small, very powerful, very easy to handle. Um, and works really well so let's move this paint around and see what we can do Okay, so I did that, but that has a lot of bubbles here. I decided that I want to put more paint on the sides. So I'm going to have to use my squirt bottle of paint because I don't have enough made. And I'm going to try to make sure I get some extra on here 
I decided I'd rather have this base so then I won't have to put any of this color in the painting because it'll already be there. All right. Let me see if I can get this blown out. If you found this video entertaining or educating or you just like it because I mess up a lot, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You know what to do. I'd like to keep going with this, but I don't have very many uh, subscribers. But that's okay. I, I'm just doing this for fun anyway, so... Okay, now I'm going to put my colors around on the outside, and I'm trying to think of how I want to do that. Do I want to put puddles? Maybe puddles would be good. Maybe lines would be good. I'm not sure what. How about that? Hmm. All right. Let's see what the gold does. And I'm not have not used this gold before. I've used the 24 karat gold, so I know how that can take over. So I don't know how this is, so I'm just going to be a little more light-handed with that. And then comes the brown. And I do think I'm going to need some more of that. All right. That's burnt umber. This is burnt sienna. I am going to push the paint over the sides, if I didn't say that. Um, I might not even need this other orange. That other orange is so beautiful, even in the bottle. I think I, I showed it to my eight-year-old grandson and he changed his favorite color from green to orange and I think that may be why because it just sparkles and it's wonderful. This is really close to the um, burnt sienna. You know, kind of close, but it's copper so it does is metallic artist loft so I think um, it's needed as well and now I'm thinking I could push that in well I'm gonna do it like like I'm a pro here I'm gonna pretend and I'm going to blow it and then if I need to add something 
to it, I can add to it, which never works out well for me, but I've got confidence today. Checking for any other bubbles. All right. Oh, that's a lot of paint, so I should be able to get over the sides with it. I'm going to start out with slow and see how it goes. Here we go. Okay, I'm done picking. I'll completely look at it, but I'm going to bring you down so you can just get a close look at it. Because I, I, I can't ask for any suggestions if you don't get a really good look at what there is out there. So you can say, oh, you should have, you might try this next time. Listen, I, I don't, will not take offense at any of this because I'd like to get better at this. I'd like to have better ideas. But I think the only way that you get better is to keep doing. So that's what I'm hoping. Okay, here here we go. We're going to come down. There's my puppy. Well, you say Spike. Sit. Mm, that's such a good boy. Look at its smile. Okay, I took the, um, had to clean the camera lens because I was just seeing nothing but fog. So, we're going to start over here. And you can see I got those great cells. Look at that. It just kind of looks like it's on fire, doesn't it? If it had red in it, it surely would be. Let me go back up this way a little bit so you can see the full thing. Now I'll go down and go over here to this side because there's a couple really good. There, there, and there. And then there's some up here. Good cells. Good mixture of color. And this is, I, I really like this here. Wished I'd had more of that paint to, to throw in there a little bit. But 
it's hard to get sorry fingers hard to get in the frame there you go how's that I think it looks really nice and regardless of whether I put anything in the middle or not um, it's going to go great in my spare bedroom or just up on the wall of my living room to just give it those fall colors. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Over here should be a little subscribe button and uh, give me that change that bell to all so that you'll get notifications when I post the update on this. Actually, it might just be right after you see this. I might hold it. Or I might just come back and add it. So, we'll see. Well, hello again. Just giving you a final update on the picture. Uh, I did place the word fall on it. I did it in the gold. Um, hopefully I'll be able to resin this. I'm not sure if I'm going to resin or varnish. But um, I did uh, the pumpkin in the middle. And I'm not really good at shading. So I, I didn't get a real good handle on... Uh, the pumpkin just looks kind of bad. But it doesn't matter. I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I want I want it to be really nice and I still haven't finished this so I'm sure I'll come up with another idea um, if I do resin it I might be able to get a, a pumpkin of similar size to put on top of the resin then do another resin over top of that make give it a little depth I don't know but here is just a little close-up of how well the colors all came together and the cells that they made and I, I I'm really glad I didn't like all sell up I just like the amount that I got was really nice and there's my attempt at my shading but I don't know how to fix that so so I don't think it looks too bad and I can't wait to place it on my wall. Maybe I'll give you a shot of it on my wall. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe. See you later, guys. Bye.